pointers. A pointer is a special type. So far, our variables have stored integers, characters, strings, and float values. A pointer variable stores a memory address as its value. We can use a pointer to point to another variable's memory address, but we can also use pointers to allocate memory on the heap part of our program memory. We'll cover dynamic memory allocation later. For now, we're just going to look at basic pointers. To declare a normal variable, we need a data type and a name. To declare a pointer variable, we need the data type of what it will point to, an asterisk, and a variable name. We can point our pointer to the address of an existing variable with an assignment statement. Since the value of a pointer is a memory address, make sure to use the address of operator on the pointed to variable. We could then read and write the value at that address using the dereference operator, which is also asterisk. The pointer can be changed at any time to point to a new address. When a pointer is currently not in use, we need to assign it to null pointer, so we're not pointing at an invalid address. When we declare a pointer, it's best to also be safe and assign it to null pointer right away. Pointers can be used to connect objects together, or reuse code in only needing to point to a new location, or to build our own data structures, but that's another class. If we have an object variable whose type is a struct or class, and a pointer pointing to it, then to access the member variables we need to use the arrow operator. The main thing that makes pointers confusing at first is all the different symbols. I would suggest writing a cheat sheet for yourself to reference while working with them. There's a lot of uses for pointers, but first it's good to practice with the basics, get a feel for them, 